Well, Brunel, a lot of thunderstorms out there this morning. I know. So what can we expect later today? Well, we're going to have more the storms continuing in the morning hours. We might have a little lull, and then we have more of those storms coming in here uh, later tomorrow or later this afternoon. We did have uh, some warmer weather that brought in some of the more and more humid air mass. We had highs in the upper 70s yesterday, uh, even some 80s farther down to the south. The uh, latest temperature outlook does show warm weather continuing as we go into uh, next week, but we have a little cool down before we start to see those temperatures rebounding back into the 70s. A lot of rain in the last 24 hours. We've had anywhere from a tenth to, uh, or I should say a quarter to half inch to over an inch of rain where you're seeing those blue shaded colors. That is representing that heavier rainfall totals, mainly west of the Fox Valley. And here's the latest cluster of showers and thunderstorms moving along Highway 29 and lifting up to the Northwoods as we speak. Here's a closer look showing those scattered showers and storms. Shano down towards about Green Bay, moving up into Little Suamico. Maybe it'll wake up Cameron uh, as we get into uh, towards uh, Kanto, get a little bit of some uh, thunderstorms as well. This is pretty much the heaviest cluster of those storms. Farther to the north, it's more so light to scattered rain showers, but then you see off towards the west, we still have some activity starting to fill in here, and that's going to be moving in to northeast Wisconsin over the coming hours. So we're not done with the precipitation just yet. We have to wait for that cold front to come through. Along and late last night into the overnight, there was a cluster of storms that were severe and did produce some hail and gusty winds. You see all these icons representing heavy, or I, I should say hail and gusty winds, and even there are some funnel cloud reports in southern Minnesota. Thankfully, we didn't have a significant issue of tornadoes across the Midwest yesterday, but there was some gusty wind and some hail damage. As for today, as that cold front moves through, yesterday, for today's forecast, there was a marginal risk for severe weather. They've pretty much removed all of that with the exception of this very thin, uh, thin sliver right along the shoreline. So not a big deal in terms of any severe storms. I'm not expecting any of that for the day today, but we can't rule out a couple showers and storms continuing as we get into the afternoon, early evening. That's when we start to dry out breaks in the cloud cover. And then on Saturday, starting off with a little bit of sunshine before more clouds build in here and a couple straight rain showers will be possible, but it doesn't look to be a much of a washout by any means. Additional rainfall forecast. Well, besides where the thunderstorm clusters will be, not looking like a whole lot after this uh, storm complex moves out. Temperatures right now in the 60s and upper 50s and mid 50s. We've got mid 50s by the shoreline. We've got lower to mid 60s across the Fox Valley, even extending up into the Northwoods with winds pretty variable right now, but where they are blowing upwards about 15, 25 miles per hour gusts right now in Green Bay. We've got winds coming in out of the south at about 10 to 15 miles per hour in Fond du Lac and Oshkosh. Winds are going to turn out of the west once that cold front comes in and temperatures will only warm up into the low 70s today with those scattered showers and storms. Tonight will dry out to about 48, turning mostly clear to partly cloudy. Northwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour and then our 7 day forecast uh, and a chance of a few isolated showers on Saturday high of 60. 58 on Sunday, dry weather, and then it looks like some sunshine on Monday before more rain moves in here on Tuesday and Wednesday. So, Noel, a little bit of a cool down, but after the end of the 70 forecast, we got those 70s and maybe even some 80s returning pretty soon. That's what we like to hear. I personally am a huge fan of the warm weather. <laughs> Gino, you know, thank you.